Hello and welcome to this assignment walkthrough video for the DHIS2 curriculum developed by Logical Outcomes. My name is Nicholas Santillo and in this video I go through how to create option sets in DHIS2. Okay, hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to be running through how to create option sets in this assignment walkthrough and it's just going to be me so we'll be able to go fairly quickly through that. Uh, where I am is at the DHIS2 training database uh, for Logical Outcomes, dev.logicaloutcomes.net and we're just going to run to uh, the proper app which is the data administration app so it's a little bit hidden to find where to create these option sets uh, once we go there we're gonna click the option set button here and what we'll do is we'll have to actually create an option set first before we can create any options so we would click add new and then we'll come up with this screen where we can enter the name. Uh, Sarah's talked about the codes before, so you can enter any code that you have. And of course, you have to choose a value type from this drop down. And once you do that, you can click Add. So I'm going to cancel that and we'll just look at an existing one. Once you have one created, we'll look at, uh, for example, purpose of consultation. Um, and if I left click it, I'll have option management come in. I click option management and then I'll get a screen where I can actually choose to add new and sort the actual options themselves. And so you can see I've created a few here, there's codes, and if I click add new you'll see the screen here. Uh, that is where I choose. It's very simple, just a name and a code and both are required. So that's how you create option sets. It's uh, fairly quick and fairly simple and uh, thanks so much for watching. That's all for now. As always, you can get in touch with us at info at logicaloutcomes.net or on our YouTube channel, Logical 